I think she, she might be a, a really good. So what, what's up, what's happening now? <coughs> this is the podcast. Oh, that's recorded. Is this audio. the podcast? Is yeah. this the cold open? Cold open, yeah. Cue the. I do this on my show. Cue the titles. I got any. Podcast, podcast, pod, 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 You need titles. I'll make. I'll Cue make the sure. titles. It's my show. <laughs> Holiday is what I've. Wrote oh. it, when I wrote it down on the whiteboard. Holiday, excellent, yes. I haven't seen you since your holiday. Yes, it was good. Thanks for the money. You're welcome. Where, Where did you go? Cyprus. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was thinking Saudi Arabia. That's the joke. Yeah. That, that's not a joke. It was real. Uh, Cyprus was good. It was great. I've filmed some stuff. Be out soon. Oh, yeah. I need to edit that for you. Um, I'll edit that after all the big stuff. Don't worry, man. No one's going to watch it. <laughs> I'm going to stop whispering. Um, I went to Cyprus. It was very nice. Food's good. There's lots of cats in Cyprus. I saw your pictures. Lots of cats. And then I said, oh, I wonder why there's lots of cats. I thought people must have, in Spain, a lot of people have just let their cats go. Or there have been a lot of cats that just left them in the streets. But mm. they're not, they're not that, it's not because of that. Centuries ago, the, what, the Egyptians wanted rid of the snakes. Okay. Uh, so they've got loads of cats to get rid of the snakes. That's why there's loads of cats. What did they get to get rid of the cats? Uh, tourists. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, but yeah, it was good. I mean, it was it was February, so not, not everything was open. There was loads of building work. It's constant roadworks building and stuff. I saw the, the woman burp or fart. Burp. I was going through the, the, tunnel, the, the tunnel of Aphrodite. So... I went on a tour. There's the birthplace of Aphrodite where she came out of a shell. The tour guide told me she, it, it didn't happen. Oh. So I'm glad they did because I, I believed it. Mm. Or, the, or the other myth where uh, I think Uranus, Uranus got his... Uh, so there's like Kronos, the main god. Yeah. Are you with us? Mm -hmm. He, I think the Titans killed him. Okay. And they chopped him up in bits. And maybe it was Zeus. Anyway, someone chopped his balls off and his balls went into the ocean and the sperm became Aphrodite. And that didn't happen or did happen? I think it happened. <laughs> uh, and then and a woman burped. That's what you're asking. Wasn't you? <laughs> a woman burped in the tunnel, so kind of ruined it. Um, um, was she English? Yeah. Oh, was she? Yeah. Uh, and then I went to the place of Adonis, guy you would like. Oh, I was going to do it, yeah. Uh, what, Adonis's waterfall. No, I don't know. So Adonis was this, the most handsomest man ever who ever lived. And these two goddesses fancied him. One in the underworld and one in nature or something. Hmm. And he died, and then they would like swap his soul oh. at different times of the year. So in winter time, he's with the goddess in oh, the underworld. Yeah. And then when it, it's summer, he's getting it on in the woods with his, nice. with his lass. Oh. So I thought, oh, that's cool. And then she kept talking about Mount Olympus. You know the myth, but the it's there. Mount Olympus. I was on. I was at Hercules. Mount Olympus. Yeah, it's in Cyprus. Love Hercules. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, it's a cool place, two massive military bases, lots of planes going over to the military bases and stuff. Scary? Of, yeah. Yeah. But you enjoyed it? I did. I, I, I like Greek food. I'll, I'll edit the video after the big stuff. No worries. Thank you. I've still got seven more days. Of? I've only oh. sent you day one. Oh, is that... Well, I looked at... Oh, I looked at... Oh, I've um, got too much to edit. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at... Um, mosaics. Mm -hmm. oh, so right. in 1960 something, a farmer was in his tractor, and he looked down. He was like, "Ooh, what's that?" And it was the floor of a Roman house. Oh, so Cyprus has been kind of like ruled by loads of different people: the Romans, the Egyptians, uh, the Greeks, obviously. Where are you going to go next? Uh, Blackpool. Well, are you going to go to Blackpool? Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Butlands? I used to... I've got a Butlands. I used to work at Butlands. Did you? For one or two shifts. Did you? Well, one Were you shift. like one of them red coats? 
Uh, no, I just worked in one of the bars. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah, when I was 18. Wow. I just turned 18, wow. I think. Two sh- well, what, one shift. One shift, really. Hated it. Nobody liked me. Is that before you worked for me? I think, yeah, that was the job before, yeah. Wow. Because you, you you have to live there, obviously, in Butlins. And it was all other young folk. And you, you like, share accommodation. But because I'm a big socially awkward dope, mm. everybody just hated it. Doesn't yeah. thought of, but I was just, like, shy. Because people think So nobody liked me, so I just, I just left. People think you're not talking as rudeness, don't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, but that's why I like you, because then I can just keep talking. Yeah. And you don't speak. Uh, no, no, nobody liked me. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't like work, and I, I just I left within a week or something. So yeah, I'm going back to Cyprus as well next year. Oh no, sorry. I tell you where I'm going. In four weeks' time, I'm going to Dublin. Oh, Europe's fastest growing city. Is there a joke there? Because it keeps doubling and. Oh, doubling. it was a joke. I'm getting good at. You don't watch my videos, do you? I've done a full video of this joke. Have you? Yeah. Maybe that's why. I, I mean, it's not. The biggest, because the biggest is obviously Tripoli. Is that a joke? Yeah, because it's triple, triple. Ah, Dublin, triple. I see. Got this. Uh, yes, the holiday was good. I can't really remember any more. Next, I wrote it, uh, victims. Of an empath. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a long, yeah. You don't remember a thing you said on that, do you? I don't remember anything. It'll. It's finished tonight. I don't know when it goes up or when this goes up. But as soon as I drop you off home, I come back and I save it. And depending on copyright, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes. But it's, it's done. All the editing's done now. Uh, did you enjoy filming that? I did. I always do. I You're just, very I, funny. You're I very funny. You wrote me lines. <laughs> well. Oh, don't I show me bum and stuff? You do. Oh, no. Is that in? Yeah. Is it? Zoom in on the... Oh, no. I don't really have an ass. I've got, like, the whole old man, like... Mm. You I'll know, try, yeah, you know what? It's like it doesn't. Do you want me to blur it? Doesn't go into itself. It's yeah. just kind of fall. Like me, Mrs. says I'm just all back. I thought that. Yeah. Do you want me to blur it? No. Just let's start doing glute exercises. Well, I already do. Those... Oh, we've got a bad back. Are you getting surgery? Well, I don't know yet. I've got an MRI scan on Friday, and then we'll find out. I hope it's really bad. Time off work. I hope the. Guys are like, whoa, how are you even... Man- you were- it's no wrong. wonder you've been complaining for a for year. For 43 yeah. years. <laughs> like, it's so bad. Well, the doctor said it was bad because I had no feeling in my legs. And I got a stabbing pain in my left buttock when I have a wee. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe be careful, careful, careful with your back, man. Well, yeah, well, I've, I've already hurt mine a few times. On Friday, what day is it today? Sunday. Sunday. So that's the scan. And then they'll probably say, right, uh, two years' time, you can go and, go and uh, you'll get an operation. But luckily, I have a rich YouTuber friend who'll get Who? me private. Oh, sh- get me private. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> You're not rich. I was thinking, who else? Who's is rich? It? I was thinking, is it that other mate who does... <laughs> Well, I, could do a, I could do a uh, GoFundMe private back operation. I bet the Lord's willing to donate there. Actually, you'd probably... If I get loads of money on uh, GoFundMe as well for the operation, I could be like, get some extra. <laughs> get some extra. Get an ass implant. Would you call it Brazilian butt lift? I was just thinking, yeah, go to Brazil. Oh, there's your next holiday, Brazilian Brazil. Butt lift. Anyway, this is going to be about victims and oh, your right. ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about victims, Crystal. It's taken about three months. It's took ages. Reddit's noticed. Have they? We've talked very long with this one. Are they all hurting us again? No. The, the note's coming. Uh, just, I've got a life as well. Is, you've done another thing. Is Crystal the one with the bangs? <laughs> You're in the video going, poor Crystal. You don't even know who she is, do oh, you? Oh, no, no, no. I don't know anything. And yeah, that's her, this. That's her, the one with the bangs. Yeah, really shy. Amber Bullock. Yeah, that's t- it's t- I think it's took about three months to do. I mean, I've done it while I did the first foodie, and I've done other bits. And but it, so it's it's been on the back. But it's yeah. took it's took three you've, months. You've cha- you've changed the structure a few times though. Oh, you said the really feel hard. wasn't right and stuff. Yeah, I've got it. I think I've got it right now. But it's yeah, just it's took so long. But it, I mean, and it's probably been hard. 
because it's not nice to watch, is it? It makes me a bit sad not when, watch, I, when, I, when what, I edit it. Watching yeah. this nice girl getting... She is nice. Rubbish. Yeah, it is a bit sad. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's took so long. But it's finally done. I just need to watch it back, save, upload, kick off with YouTube that they don't put adverts on mm. for about a week. And no, then, don't uh, mention you want adverts. Why? Because people don't, people don't like the creators to talk about adverts and things. No, do they not? You do it for the love. Well, I need to eat. They, shh, you oh, don't. sorry. sorry. <laughs> you had to entertain. Shut up. Um, is it entertain or is it just miserable, this one? I don't know. I haven't watched it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you're good because you you make it funny. You're the comic relief. It's uh, That's yeah. what a show like called Victims of an Empath <laughs> needs is a laugh track. A hilarious middle-aged man showing his bum. Well, I need to put the laugh track in. And after, no, I won't. I obviously don't do that. Um, I was not in there. Laugh track, yeah. That's a good creative choice. Even though I hate laugh tracks. I do. I can't watch things with it now. It's totally to watch Red Dwarf again. I watched oh, Black, I tried to watch Black Adder the other night. Oh, yeah. It's bad, isn't it? <sighs> in in the Red Dwarf DVD, though, the take, there's an option to take it out. I watched I watched that years ago and then it had no laugh track. Yeah, the DVDs don't have it on. Ah. Is it weird, though, because to the pause? Why? Probably. Oh, Smeg. <laughs> Or whatever they say. It's been a while since I've that. Um, uh, victims, yeah, that's done. And then the next one is Destiny. Which I don't know when I'm going to get to that. Destiny. That'll be a big episode. Oh, I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Did Destiny have a hard time with Amber? A little, but the problem with that one is, with the KC one and the Crystal one, there was loads in there that people didn't know about because they didn't watch the early stuff. Mm. So it felt like, oh, I'm showing people new stuff. I think everything everybody knows all the Destiny stuff. Yeah. So I kind of feel like, oh, if I make it, people already know what's happening. So I don't know. You made a full series about that. That is true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Good so. point. Uh, Destiny and then, but I don't know when I'll get to that because Foodie's starting to take over now. Yeah. Is Foodie next on me? It is. Foodie Beauty. Do you need to stop it? I do need to stop it. Clap. <laughs> Foodie Booty video. Now, I don't know if I'm meant to be talking about the first or the second one. We'll do first. Were you in the first? I'll put you in it. No, you're not, are you? Are you sure? Like, you're not like victims where you pop in every couple of minutes. I am or not? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Should I watch it? I don't think you are. I don't think I am. No, no. Uh, oh, no, I was, I was thinking about it, and then you said you're on holiday, and I was like, oh, I can't put him in. Oh, <clears> I am in it because I say I'm on a beach. Oh, it's a little cameo, yeah, a little, yeah. yeah, not a big role. Because the whole thing was, I was gonna, it was gonna be in between where I was pretending I was in Kuwait, <laughs> researching, but then I was obviously not. I like that joke. Like that was I'd your idea. That by I the pool, that. having a cocktail, going. Did anyone think that was real or not? What you know, where I, I'm on the phone, I go, "Call me back. You've took me money to go to Cyprus." Uh... No. Somebody must have. Somebody must have thought it was real. I think people probably did think it was real. I really like that. That was good. Uh, yeah, food. Uh, the first one. Go on, we'll talk about the first. Did you watch the first Shattered I did. I watched Dreams? it. I, I watched it. Shattered Reality. I, I watched it with the missus in a premiere. Oh, did you watch the, the premiere? It was I, great. Lo I love the premiere. It was really good. I really, Everyone really like so it. I was so excited. It was really good. It's, I really like the, the premiere. Wasn't it just low? It was. It was wasn't there a point where it was just too many people couldn't even read? It? Yeah. Well, normally I try and I try and reply to people. Or if not, I at least try and read it. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, it was too, it was it was tons. And of I people. I had slow chat on as well, I think. So, mm. but I I love the the premieres. It feels like a nice nice event. It's, it's you should always do that. I think I like the the premieres. Yeah. And then obviously, straight after Foodie went live. Yeah. Did you watch that response? No. People sent me bits, and after, like, I watched... It was, like, five hours. I know. I watched a tiny bit, and then it was just kind of... I just, I just got bored. With somebody's ranting that the haters. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I just got she bored. Did, she, she, she never really said she hated you. She just said oh, right. you brought things up, but that was the... That was the point. point of a document. <laughs> yeah. I think you really hurt her when you said, oh. just not a very good YouTuber. Well, our audio's still... T oh, I was... <laughs> well, we're not very good. Well, audio's shocking. 
But I think you meant because it's like she, it's, she's a, she's a she's gone into lol cow territory. She's known. She, well, she's known as a lol cow rather than a, a lol cow, uh, rather than a YouTuber. Yeah. How did that hurt her feelings? I'm, I'm guessing, even though she didn't watch it. <laughs> what else did she not like? I saw a little bit, and then it oh, just kind of so went I went, off. I, 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 I went and I went into the live. <clears throat> her live. Her live, and I said. Hi everyone, or something. Or and did she say hello to and you? And then that was a different time. All oh, right, right. But then someone said, "Get out of here." Oh, do you? And I said, "I'm not here to patrol or anything. I'm just saying, like, I'm interested. Like, hello. Like, there's no need. For, I'm not going to do anything. Well, you're associated. You're associated with me. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to say anything horrible. You wouldn't do anything horrible, like I don't know, dress up as Foodie Beauty for a sitcom. <laughs> well, yeah, but I wouldn't comment. That's Foodie. But then someone said, Jimmy Bunker, he's uh, he's the hanger on of Mr. Snuggler. Get, him, <laughs> get rid of him. They are correct. Get yeah. get him out of here. I think oh, did they kick out? Did they kick oh, out? Oh, no. Someone said, uh, Jimmy Bunker, it's Mr. Snuggler's ugly little sidekick. <laughs> and I said, ugly? Accurate. I said, ugly? Come on. But I'd already been banned. Oh, did the ban you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, banned me. Oh, you banned all... Are you done all together then? No, because I went on the other one and said... Hi, and she said, "Hi, Jimmy Bunker." Oh, well, I'm not going to be horrible, foodie, Miriam. I'm not going to be horrible. Imitation. I watch this form of flattery. Your don't, yeah, just don't watch the sitcom. It's a joke. <laughs> Look, if you want to dress up as me and go, eh, I don't care. I'm really ugly. I'm a hang around. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever they say. That's what they say. Oh, me back. No, when you got a bad back, the way you hit the floor there that was awful. That didn't help. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah. But you like your pro? You just got back into character? Back up, yeah. What, who were you playing? Oh, you were Amber. I was Amber at that point. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, so then she just she just kept saying... But then... Did you watch the whole thing? No, I went on for hours. What did you say, five hours? I probably wasn't five. It was probably three, though. But she So she'd <laughs> gone on about the video, but then yeah. it went on to... She started ranting about other people I don't know. Yes, I, that's I, what I, lost I, me and I went... I don't know any of the law and stuff, so... Yeah. It kind of... She she dug up loads of stuff. Yeah, in a panic, yeah. But the beginning bit where she uh, was a bit mad at you. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, you were. It, it is a video where you're like... Don't like her. That's fair enough. Yeah. She might like me in the next one. For a bit. <laughs> <laughs> For a little bit, she might like me. She might actually have bits. Ooh, I can't spoil anything. No, I haven't seen any of this one. Oh, oh my God. I was still Do you time. think the volume's working? Yeah, it's working, don't worry. People always say, oh, it's worse than Amber. I go, no, it's not. Come on. But now there's a point in this where you know the exact point where it goes, oh, my God, this has gone off the rails now. This is bad. But is she more exciting than Amber, though? Because Amber's yeah. boring. Oh, fuck. At least food is entertaining. Yeah. It's 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 easier watching Foodie. Food, than... Foodie's made me laugh a few times. She's made me laugh. Stuff, yeah. She's made me laugh a few times. Yeah, but it, yeah, there's one point you'll know it. I think I probably said I put it in the script that this is the moment where everybody goes, "Oh no!" Mm. Yeah, it goes really bad. I'm very excited for Pete to watch X Men '97. You won't be. He's got to be excited for that. You... What do you mean? He loves X Men, doesn't he? What's the matter? Peeps isn't great either. Oh, oh no. Sorry. Oh no. Bad. Pretty bad. Oh really? Really, really bad. And I, I do I have to well, delete, I don't know. I do think, I have I think to it's delete bad. me Twin Peeps video? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because in the first episode I, I, I'm liking them. So it's it's kind of an, it's it's a bit like you know how we used to like Amber and then you watch her and you go, Oh, she's awful. Yeah. It's like a nice it's a it's another arc where mm. I go, I like Pete. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Pete. Yeah. Well I hope you enjoy X Men ninety seven because I'm I'm very excited for. It. I remember I used to get home from school and watch X Men, and and if I was going to be late, my mum would tape it. Oh, I'd get in and it'd be halfway through, and the Sentinels would turn up, and then the tape would go, and my brothers re-recorded a scene from Bloodsport. <laughs> What's Bloodsport? John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, was it? Oh, mm. you know what I used to watch when I got in from school. Uh, go on, have a guess, knowing me. Uh, 
what's uh, songs of praise? <laughs> I don't know. What did you? Uh, boxing. Sometimes Muhammad Ali, but most of the time, Judge Judy. Ah, oh, I should have known that. Mm. That's where I got me morals from. Mm. Uh, Judge Judy. Great show. Sorry, what were we talking about? I've, I've always said I bet I fancy Judge Judy. Me too. Do we high five? Over our back. Ah. Oh. Sorry, Judge. Said it. Judge Judy. I liked another judge. I am the law. Yeah. Oh, is that one I was yeah, going to do? It's the Stallone one. I remember when I first met, like, what would become, like, internet critics. I was on the bus. I'd been to see Judge Dredd with Stallone, and I thought it was amazing. You, got, you went with Stallone? No, I, he was in it. So I saw the movie, and I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. <laughs> and I said, I thought it was brilliant. And I was on the bus. And I was, I was there, uh, and I was with my mum. Of course. And I said, oh, mum, that was so good. I loved that movie. And then uh, these three guys in front of us, nerds. Well, they're all like, the bigger boys. What? How, how could you like it? He took his helmet off. And Fergie's not even like that. Don't get me started on Mean Machine. And I thought, oh. Sorry, I had fun. And they ruined, they ruined the movie. And then oh. I became that person. We should do. Now I do that. We should do movie reviews, and I'll be those guys on the bus. Well, actually, well, guys, I went straight to Forbidden Planet the next day and got Judge Dread comics. Ah, oh, cool. And Are the comics I, good? They're good. He ages in the comics. That's interesting. So in in the first comics, he's like a teenager. Oh. And he actually, and I, and I, I never knew that. Other well, film's great. The one you told me to watch, Dread. Dread. It's really oh, good. Wow, fantastic. The, the, been rumours for you. Why are we talking about just... <laughs> Sorry, we're talking, we're talking about foodie. <laughs> but they're meant to be making a, a TV series. With Keith. I heard that. Is it Carl Urban? Carl Urban? I could call him Keith Urban. Keith Urban? Carl Urban? Carl Urban. Um, that's really good. He never takes his helmet off. Cool. Well, that's what was meant to be made with the hood. Mm. I was never going to take the hood off. And then I did. But and then I knew I was pretty. And then I did. And everybody went, oh. Oh, God. Put it back on. So I'll... No, someone the other day put on a... Glad to see you've finally taken the sack off your head. It was pathetic. <laughs> and I said, where have you been? Wait, when did I take it off? Years ago. Was it yet? Yeah. I wish I could put it back on. Mm. Too late now. Anyway, so uh, what was it? Foodies? Foodie Beauty, the first episode. Uh, well, I'll to... we'll pause it there. Clap. Does exercise lean beef patty? Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen her. You should do a well, call. I don't know who she is. Maybe. Um, yes, I liked the first foodie booty episode. It was, it was really fun, at times because it's so ridiculous. Mm. The whole foodie world is just so stupid and silly. It was fun. It's getting dark now. No, oh, no. Because you know the first one where I'm just I'm laughing a lot and it's just it's just a big joke. Yeah. The script started off like that. It's like, oh, here we go, more. Uh, and then is goes, it all Nader and stuff? I've heard of him. He's not nice. I've character. just got to him. I've just got to the crackhead Olympics. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> so that, that's, that's, that's the t- well. I was I was talking to people the other night and said, you're not up to there yet. But it, this is kind of like the opening ceremony to the crackhead Olympics, which made me laugh. I thought that was really cool. Is it actually crackheads? Are they all crackheads? That's not the one, it, yeah. But anyway, I, I enjoyed the first one. It was dead fun. I didn't think she would kick off, well, I didn't think she would kick off that back because the first one's really tame and it's silly. Mm. And a lot of it where, you know, we're talking about her pooping on walls. Mm-hmm. I'm not like, oh, she's horrible. It's kind of like if I was making fun of you, yeah. I'm, la- I'm laughing along with you. Yeah. So I thought a lot of it was laughing along with you, mm. but she still, well, went crazy. Episode two, she, oh yeah, I can't be. It's a dark. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to. So, what's the timeline? Show who, where does Neda come from? What happened? Tinder. She, oh, she, she meets him on Tinder. Is she still with Pete's at this point? They're roommates. They're living together. All right, but not a couple. No, but he's he's concerned about her well-being. From doing too much stuff. Doing, yeah. 
Well, yeah, I guess we've got. Um, next, crime. Can do. Well, I'll explain. Uh, I need a break from awful lol cows. So See. my palate cleanser is murder. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, we've wanted to do crime for years, haven't we? I think that was on the list when we when I first started. Crime. Yeah, we wanted to just copy that chapter. Did want to copy that chapter? What crime? Oh, uh, Israel hands. Israel keys. Who? He kidnapped a girl from. Oh her. yeah, I couldn't do it. I can't. Too horrible. Whenever there's a girl involved, I can't. I can't. Well, most serial killers get young girls. I noticed like. that because I was looking up cri- which crime should I cover first, and so many were young girls, and I was like, I can't. Why do they I keep can't. killing young, vulnerable women? Yeah, I can't do that. Well, I found a, I found a one where. What, ta- what, what crime are you going to do? Tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't handle it. It's too many numbers. Oh, God. Uh. Um, so you, you failed crime already. No, no, I've, I've, I've edited a bit. I've got about a third of it. Who is it? Edited. I won't tell you. I'm supposed to be involved, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, it's not a sad Is it close here if I can work it out? Suitcase. It, Don't say. Do you like <laughs> so, <laughs> Do you that? Someone stole a suitcase from an airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know or not? Do you know? Is it a man? Don't who, say. It. Do you know who? Do you know? Did he lock himself in? No, but I, I, I saw that one. Mm. <gasps> oh, yeah, he's a spy. Him was he? Oh, well, anyway. So, oh no, he had a fetish where he used to lock himself in suitcases. All oh, right, I. Is that a fetish? I think someone put him in a suitcase. What's the appeal of going in a suitcase? Just being in a tight place. I used to sleep in a suitcase when I was a kid. <laughs> I, I used to, I did. I used to get me mom's suitcase and sleep in it. Oh, I, do the joke, do the punchline. No, this is it. Oh. And then if, say if someone got like a, you never did that as a kid, someone gets a box or something, you just hide in it. Probably. Some trauma thing, probably. Definitely trauma. But I used to like it. You've got, you've I used, got trauma, I used yeah. to have like a big tall box that I'd get, I'd get in and pull my blanket into the, Thing in Sydney box. I thought this all kids did this. Maybe, maybe I'm just weird and I maybe just watched weird. Judy and let me know in the comments below. Did you used to hide in a suitcase? Well, anyway, we're um, yeah, finally we're going to get into crime, more crime because we did the Birkin hair. Nobody watched, but mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm gonna try and get a like an episode a week up and still do the odd lol cow stuff. But uh, let finally, me do it. Let me do a crime. Oh, which, no. which one? No, I'll not do a bad one. It's a, well, it's, good. it's a series. It's called Murderous Minds. All right. Nice. So who who would fit a murderous mind? Who would you do? But who doesn't kill women? Young. I can't do... Well, what, there's... there's I, I can't remember his name. Like kids, I can't there's do... There's a it. famous British poisoner who would just, like, experiment on people. Oh. Who's obsessed with the Nazis. And he used to just, he used to make, he used to like poison, there's a movie about it. It's called, I think it's called The Poisoner's Handbook. Oh, no. Very good. That one. That one. Do you want to do that? Yes. What are you going to, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you the movie and then get you to <laughs> make it. But put you in the, t- written and edited by Jimmy Bunker. And I'll, I'll do experiments. I'll try and make the poisons. Did I put... I see I can't spell either because I tried to put in British Poisoner and I put in British Pointer, <laughs> which is kind of like a Labrador. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not a Labrador. I don't know dogs. Are you in the title for a shattered reality? I think Foodie series. clipped me with a bag on. Oh, like me name? Yeah, it's the yeah, name on Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do a thing for it. It just looks better to have two no, riders. No, Oh, well, go on, what did I you do? I Cyprus. <laughs> Thanks, Don't tell him the secrets, man. Did you do anything for it or not? Did you write anything? Mm. <laughs> Look at you thinking, did I? Did I? Probably come up with a joke or something. Maybe. Just say yes. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we're finally getting into crime. Reddit, am I the a-hole? Oh yeah, I, I want to do another Reddit, am I the butthole? Have you got one? No, line? no, because I haven't had time to plan it. Ah, all right. I never have time. Do you want us to look for one now? Yeah, let's have some dead air. Well, keep talking. What about pointers? British pointers? Let's do a movie on that. Do a video on them. The dogs. The dogs. Um, 
Aye, the ass. You don't have to rush. I can just cut stuff if it is dead. Yeah, but you're so lazy. Not as lazy as me. Hmm. Oh. What do you want? Do you want relationship? I like the relationship ones. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I like the relationship ones. Anything. Anything. But I, I, we'll do a few. Am I the butthole? I'm glad we're continuing the podcast. I know not many people listen or watch, but I like it. It's I nice, like it. It's a nice excuse to just... Talk rubbish. Yeah. Am I the a-hole for kissing a 17-year-old on the cheek? Throw away, obviously. This Shane Dawson. <laughs> Throw away, obviously, for context. I, 44 male, am hosting a study... Of... This buggy. Just keep saying anything. Uh, oh, because you read the last one, didn't you? Because you didn't know what things meant. <laughs> what? Um, the abbreviated stuff. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, IRL means in real life. It does. Uh, I'm hosting a study abroad student from France, 17 year old female. Let's call her Alice. I'm sure you can see where this is going if you know anything about the French culture. One of the things Alice taught me about French culture was le bis. Is it le bis? That's probably wrong. Basically, where you greet someone by exchanging kisses on the cheek. Oh, right. Yeah? Oh. Was that the... F well, whenever I pick her up from high school, we do a quick le bis. It's not going to be le bis and I'm going to look like a moron. Isn't it? Oh, you said it wrong, did it? <clears throat> yeah. So, she picks her up from school. <clears throat> Is that what... Um, okay. And that's kind of, that, That's what they do. That's what they do. Okay. Just for fun. And, <laughs> and so she feels more at home. Well, I guess someone saw us doing it and reported me to the school. Not only did they send over a welfare check, I was threatened by study abroad program co coordinators that I would no longer be able to host anyone. I told them that I've never had a problem or accusation from any, any of the women I hosted before. I do this a lot because I live near the school and I like to learn about other cultures help kids with their education because I used to be a teacher. So I don't see what the problem is. I tried to explain le bis. Fuck, I'm best. I should have researched. And well, they, they don't pronounce the, the last letter in France. Le bis. So le bis. Yeah. Le bis. Uh, they, they told me it was still inappropriate. I, I even brought up that we have a strong bond from the past few weeks. Her dad was killed in the 2015 terrorist attack in Paris. So I think she sees me as a surrogate father. I could be in trouble now and I have to send her home early. Did I already lose because I'm a man in America where if you even look at a woman weird, you get into trouble now yeah. by the air hole? Well, just don't look at women weird. <laughs> uh, not the air hole. People are saying no? The, this is five steps past ridiculous. Not the air hole, obviously. I'm French, and le bé is what we do with everybody. Oh, okay. Even more so as a teenager. A funny example is when I tried to do it to the family we were doing an exchange with in Germany. They were not prepared and didn't know any better. Lol. Do the French use lol? Lol. <laughs> do, you, do you live alone? Is it just you and Alice in the house? Uh, everyone's just saying not the not the asshole. But okay. I always think things like this is there not a bit more. You know what I mean? Was it you just that? You, oh, is that why he's, you think he's holding something back? Yeah, well, it could be. Well, if it was just that, if you, it was just that, that is, I know, that, it is daft. But well, asked, well, when he said he was a teacher, I thought, oh, okay. Well, if that happened in my school, because do they they don't actually kiss her, just. They're not actually. Yeah, I still, I still couldn't do it. But I if just that's think if you if you're if you're seeing a young girl getting in a car with a guy who's meant to think you, then the kiss. If one's fought, you go, you, you'll uh, be like, "What's going on?" What, there? Yeah. Um, if that's what they do, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I know. If you should. I know you think you shouldn't have to, but you have to think. You have to think. You'd look at you're looking after someone. You're outside of a school. Not good. You, you, you think there might be more. There mightn't be, but even so, I think he, I think him as a responsible adult, and because people th always think the worst of everybody. Sure. He's outside of a school. He's picking her up. Just go. No. You know what I mean. Yeah. People. Well, it did happen. Hmm. 
You know what I mean? So people are saying not the butthole? Everyone said you're not the butthole. I'm, I'm going to say he's not a butthole. Okay, I'll go with that, but I still I wouldn't do it myself. Yeah, I mean, like, you should have said, no, I don't do that. Do you think? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> They're all saying no. I couldn't do it. I just think in this day and age, I wouldn't have a 17-year-old girl living with me anyway. I'd be like, I don't think she'd want to. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know what I mean? I'd be like, nah. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. <laughs> I, I still wouldn't do it, but yeah, if, if that's what the French do, that's okay. That was a good one. We'll probably get loads of texts going, hey, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, because we've got loads of hate from the other one we did. Other what? About the other Reddit one we did. Oh, do we? Which one? Yeah, because we we weirdly read out all ones about women, and it was also... All right. Uh, well, that one's about a woman, isn't it? Yeah, so... Oh, no. And... and uh, was said a man should delete pictures, oh, pictures of his of a... missus breastfeeding if she didn't want them to have the pictures. All oh, right, he should make the decision for her. All oh, right, I oh, see. So yeah, yeah. So people, are mad. older. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the photo penis thing. The photo penis. You cured my cancer or something. Yeah, that was the best one. That was very funny. That wasn't a Am I the Butthole? That was a, a Craigslist, wasn't it? That was it? a Craigslist Craigslist. One. Just, uh, go on, do another one. Not one about a woman. I've got a really funny one where it's a German... Man? A German man, yeah. It is, it, but so it's a, I think it's an American man goes to a German club and it's a review of this German club. I'm dying for us to do uh, read reviews. I keep finding hilarious so, reviews. Yeah, so... So this, this is a review. Bruh. I want to do a, a video on review, bruh. Been on the list a while. Don't know if I'll get to it now with the crime starting. So it's a, it's a review on Yelp. Yelp, what's Yelp? Oh, Yelp review. Right, okay. You hungry? Yeah, it's got me stomach. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I should have got you some food. Do you want any food? No, no. I'm fat, man. I've got toast. I'm fat. We've got. You'd probably uh... be making a video about me being fat. Well, actually, that's not far off. That's on the list. So like ten. After Bluey, I want to do a video on Bluey. You know, I, the bluey I, I love Bluey. That's oh, so good. I love bluey. Watch the Today again. So it's, good. Yeah, but you have a kid. I don't. Oh, yeah, like why you... <laughs> Am I the butthole? I Am I the butthole? Alone. <laughs> That's good. I don't watch it alone. I watch it with the missus. Yeah. Right, sorry, sorry. Jimmy. The game's on Game Pass. Mike. Hmm? The game's on Game Pass. There's a bluey game? Yeah. <gasps> I told you. It's on Game Pass. You said yes. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> No, Peppa Pig was on. I can't uh, find this blooming review. I'll have to. I'll have to get uh, Bluey downloaded. I'll cut all the all the dead air. Yeah. Or we can just have a one minute silence for somebody. Mm. Foodie's career. <laughs> I can't just. Right, here we go. All right, go on. Do you want to read it? Because I've I've read it. All right, go on then. Right, you ready? What is it? It's a it's a review of a nightclub in Germany. A review of a nightclub in Germany. Yeah. One star by Kyle. Kyle W. Kyle W. Oh, oh what did you say? A nightclub in Germany. Yeah. How have you found this? Uh, me missus read it to me. Uh, please excuse the long word. Oh, the long one. The long review. But I'm going to share with you my experience at Bergheim. Yeah, we'll call it that. Yeah. I was in Berlin a couple of weeks ago and I was sitting in my hotel bar. I started chatting with a couple of guys from London. Uh, they seemed normal and told me they were getting ready to head to the world's coolest nightclub. I figure it's Saturday night. What the hell? So I asked them... Sorry, I'm doing my... Um, it's good. Re 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 it's good. Re like what the hell? So I asked them if I can tag along. They said, no problem. One of them informs me that I should probably change clothes because this place is hard to get into. But they had a connection. Ooh. 
they recommended that I go change into black, simple clothes, no buttons on the shirts and no hoodies. They said I, if I had a black scarf, that would be awesome. Black scarf. Is that cool? Yeah. Um, said the dog I love scarves and black clothes. So I go change and come back down to the lobby. We hail a cab and are now off to this place called Berghain. I think I'll say that wrong every time. I'm like you with the French. Upon arriving, I see this super long line that's leading into what looks like a commercial building of some sort. I'd liken it to a warehouse. It's not that inviting at all. The guys from London tell me we are going to cut in line. Uh, while we are standing there looking for the spot to cut, I take out my phone to check Facebook. One of the London guys goes into a rage. Is this one of the guys he's with? Yeah. Right. Uh, he's with two guys from London. I see. And starts cussing me out and grabs my phone, yelling, Don't look at your phone. Don't use it. They won't let us in. Anyway, we got to the front of the line and there's this creepy looking older guy with earrings, face tats, and spikes in his lips. That sounds pretty cool. Mm. Oh, that's good. Uh, sounds so, like an X Men 3 extra. Mm. Yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, I've lost my place in his lips. Supposedly, he's some type of guru in the club scene. He's a weird guy, and yes, he had a scarf on. He looks me up and down and then waves us in using his pinky finger. Oh, I didn't, I've, uh, I've never thought about ever doing that. that. Strange. Uh, now things are about to get really weird. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh, oh yeah. Been going? Okay. <clears throat> uh, once inside, the music is blasting too loud. I'm imagining uh, Blade. Blade 1. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could feel it in your chest. I thought the bass, I maybe said bass. I thought the bass was good. <laughs> well, like one of them singing fish. <laughs> Barry the Bass. <laughs> I'm a fish. This was going to set my heart off rhythm. I tell the two guys from London. Is he from Germany? This guy. He's American. I see. Berlin. I've met two people in London. Remember the beginning. His name is Barry the Bass. And who am I? You're Kyle. You're Kyle W. Uh, let's go get a beer. They look at me like I'm crazy. They offer me these strange look looking little pills and I pass. Good man. No drugs for me. They both pop them and then start making out. That's not the weird part. That's n it's not weird. Oh, right. I'm not talking about a little kiss or a peck. I'm talking open mouth tongue kissing. Is there more to it? Or is that, is that, no, I, oh. I haven't got you to read a story where a guy goes to a gay club and sees two men kissing. What the? Oh my god, I thought you were pals. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Yeah, that's not the story. Um, uh, tongue kissing, it was very aggressive slash disturbing kissing. I've never thought of kissing as disturbing. Oh, no, I have. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even know these dudes were gay. I look around and there are three or four naked <laughs> naked guys dancing all crazy with their actions. <laughs> <laughs> I think this sounds like a great club. I think it sounds really good, yeah. Uh, with erections, I decide to go get a beer and tell myself maybe I'm in the wrong part of the club. I wouldn't mind, I'd still stay and have a beer. Well I don't drink. But I'd well, just be like that, wouldn't you? Cheers, mate. <laughs> Off one of his peep peep piercings. Oh, I thought you meant his butt or something. Could you open a bottle on the butt? I think you can, sure. Pretty seen. tight. Well, let's go Berlin. Um, oh, is that what they are? <laughs> this American guy in Berlin <laughs> meets two cockneys. They said, Do you want to. Why did I say cockneys? Um, they're in the wrong part of the club. Maybe this is the gay section. Do they have. Different sections. I think he's confused the word gay with smoking. <laughs> it's easily done. Oh, I did Amsterdam. Oh, uh, gay section. Nope. The whole club is the gay section. <gasps> Exclamation bum, bum, bum. mark. On the way to grab a beer. I pass in disbelief. A bearded guy. <laughs> but crap out of another bearded dude 
You could smell feces. <laughs> Do I remember reading this? It wasn't me. That was the... I take my eyes off that situation and it only gets worse. There's another guy. And I kid you not, he's got his arm almost... <laughs> Where am I? No adverts, by the way. Oh, it's done. Um, there's another guy, and I kid you not, he's got his arm almost to his elbow, elbow up another guy's ass! Ex- exclamation mark. I thought it was a magic trick. <laughs> I thought it was a magic trick. Oh, Is this your card? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll just shake the shit. Was that your card? Oh, watch as I make this guinea pig. <laughs> Believe it or not, bunker boys and girls, it gets worse. Oh, there's another guy, and I kid you not, know, a magic trick or an illusion. It wasn't capital letters. The guy that's basically getting impaled is enjoying it. I saw one guy getting tag teamed, double penetration style by two guys. I said to hell with this, I'm out of here. As I'm leaving, I remember that one of those Londoners has my phone. Oh, there's the more, so I need to go find them. Oh, there's not more, is that it? So I need to is go that find the end? Them. I think so. Ah, oh, no. We have to pause it. Oh. Oh, so that's not the end. So him. No, so not. he's got to search for his phone. Is it real or is it a joke? Wait, why is he giving the club a bad review? Oh, because of the. I guess worse. Well, that's not the club's fault. If that's what the club is. Right. Can't give them a bad review on that. Oh, so the others, there's other reviews about it's the club. It's a real place, yeah. It's a real. It's a f- infamous club and. Berlin, and he's a moron, didn't realise it's like this... Gay club. It, it, it's well, this very famous gay club. Now there are naked guys everywhere sucking each other off. Fisting each other. There was one dude that was riding another guy, cowgirl style, and yelling... What's that? Wild's Teff. Is that me? Wild's Teff. I asked the dude next to me, what's he screaming? He informs, informs me, Wild's Teff is German for balls deep. The nasty-looking guy comes up to me with a syringe and acts like he's going to stick me with it. I jump back. Am I recording all this? I jump. Don't want to miss this. No. Um, I jump back and think about beating the S out of him and he starts laughing in a very bad, and in very bad English, he says, you want chemical to keep you, to keep wake and make you high? I As I'm saying no... A loud siren slash whistle whistle starts blowing and the whole club starts going bananas. I ask this guy who looks like a vampire, what the hell is that? Why isn't he left at this point then if he's on the phone? No, don't spoil it for yourself. Is there a fire or a terrorist or something? He does this weird giggle and says the siren means it's slip and slide time. Hundreds of guys, the ones that aren't already naked, drop their pads Start masturbating on the dance floor. Evidently, you were supposed to ejaculate on the floor and make it slippy, and those, and then naked guys go sliding through it. <laughs> was that a hell of a time? What uh, WTF? What the prick? I look back, and the vampire-looking dude is jerking off in my direction. <laughs> I throw a beer bottle at him, and start hauling ass out of there. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Slip and slide. Slip and slide. I said that like I was getting ideas with the chip. Slip and slide. I, know, like, mm. uh, I run past this one guy that seems to be injured and he's asking for help. I'm a pretty nice guy, so I ask what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Bends over, and you can see this silicone rubber looking object barely protruding out of his butt. I might put, the other, put this on the second channel in yeah, case it's too dodgy. Yeah. You can barely see it. He then explains that he had shoved a rubber arm. A rubber arm? With a fist in it. A fake arm. 
Yeah. Is that a thing? You can buy that. Look at me acting like I don't know. Uh, you buy can... our merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bunker Fest, the, the top seller. Obviously, you know, they can be dangerous. This bit of the podcast will go on under the hood. The rest will be put on. He then explains that he had shoved a rubber arm with fi- arm with fist up there and it was stuck. Is he going to help him? This guy thinks I'm going to help pull it up. Well, get the F out of here. Oh, did he not help? No. I'd help. Would you help? No. You're the butthole. I'm I'd, the butthole. I'd help. I- oh, excuse me. I finally get to the exit and I yell... To that weird old doorman, you sick b- I hail a cab and make it back to my hotel. Oh, did you not get his phone? That was my experience at the world's coolest nightclub. Oh, I see. I can handle a lot of stuff, but this place was way over the top. I will... I will not be back. Never. Never. Well, to give it a one star... I know, exactly. The guy was that's nice. Not the, that's not the... Who? The guy who did this. Anyway, the whole point in that was... It might be it fake. Was, it, was, it, was, it was just to make you read something. Oh. To make you laugh. Oh, right, not to embarrass me. No. Well, um, I enjoyed that. It might be fake, it might not be, I don't care. It made me laugh. He is the a-hole. Him? Oh, yeah, I think he's the... If it's real. Yes, he's the one who's... Uh... Well, I know. Why don't we go to the gang? We'll check it out. That's what it's called. We'll Vlog. check it out. See if it's real. Hey, everybody. Snowflake and Bunker. Would... That I'd probably not get in. You could... Uh, yeah. You'd wear a shirt. Yeah, a scarf. I've got a scarf. I could pretend I'm that guy from... Um, the Hangover. The Hangover. Or... Uh, uh, Parks and Recs. Parks and Recs? Nick Hoffman. Oh, yeah, a little. Yeah. Right. Right. Should we do... Uh, was there any fan questions? Yes. <laughs> oh, there was. Hey. Do you need to turn it off? No. Nope. Stop banging the table that comes out the mic. Uh, no, no, we'll... Oh, yeah, maybe I do. Oh, <clears throat> food is live. Uh, no. What do we do? Make no worries. Yeah, I'm not bothered. It's only going to rant. Right, so fan questions for this podcast. Where is Chantel episode two coming out? Uh, and then everybody did fingers like this. What's that mean? This. This oh. is the right question to ask. Oh, uh, as soon as I can. As soon as I, I, can. I don't know. Just when it's done, I don't know. I'm working can on it really, non-stop, I don't know. Can you release episode two of Foodie's series on her birthday? When's her birthday? They don't say. I'll just, as soon as it's done, it, it'll go up, yeah. We need an update on Jimmy's life-changing nail injury and how is he managing the PTSD. Did He's you write such that? such a brave little soldier. You wrote that. No. I don't know if people want us to read their names. Um, yeah. I should read the names. Okay. Tulsa Time asked that question. No, it's still black. I think I'm going to have a black nail forever. Mm. Thanks for your question. This is from Dark Misty Day, big big supporter of the channel. Oh, okay, yeah. How different is your life before and after YouTube? Oh, for me. Well, yeah, not me. Everything's <laughs> this. What was it? Sorry, how was how, how life different, different? Is your life? Um, I thought I'd have a lot more free time. It's the opposite. I'm, I'm sure I remember saying to you, "Oh, when I just do YouTube, I'll be able to choose my own hours." I'll be able to do two hours here. Maybe I'll have two hours off. Hmm. Maybe. No, you do more hours than me. Um, and I have a real job. I slept four hours last night. That copy really helped. Nice. I'd love another um, one. How's it changed? Just just feel uh, busier? That's okay. Uh, this is just call me... Al. Your... Just call me your nails. Sorry, I'm... Uh... Stupid. I like to pretend I'm dyslexic, but I'm not. You shouldn't fear Kevin. Who are you, Amberlyn <laughs> Reed? <laughs> Does she do that? Oh, maybe she's dyslexic. That would explain a lot. Which she probably is dyslexic. Yeah, yeah, maybe. She's definitely got ADHD. 
I shouldn't diagnose people even. She hasn't got ADHD. Uh, how long does it take to research and write a script? What do you think your next project will be after the Chantel series? Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I forgot what the question is already. What is it? Can you remember this question? <laughs> How long does it take to oh, how long research take? and write a script? What do you, what will you be? What's your next project? How long does it take Chantel? to re, a script? Two, three. It usually takes about a, a month for a whole video, <clears throat> about a month, and that's with uh, just constantly working on it. So about four weeks to do a whole video. I don't know how long we've been doing the latest foodie. Three weeks, and the script it feels still, like forever. Well, three weeks. The script's still not there because the videos are just. All over, and it's mm. uh, about a month for a video, three weeks script, something like that. But even when I do a script, I don't really stick to it. When, mm. I, when I film, I just kind of go, oh, roughly that, and then just. And the next project, uh, crime, crime videos I want to do for a while. Crime, yes. More crime. Lots of fun stuff, food challenges. Oh, that's been on the Lots list. Of random stuff. Just silly stuff as well. As, yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks, good question. Uh, if you could ask Jimmy what was the most mental night he, he had working at a pub, the craziest story, thank you. That's Steve the Skelly. Jimmy, what was the craziest night you had at a pub? <clears throat> we worked together loads, I can't think of a crazy... Well, crazy day, a guy came in, I don't think you worked there then, came in, I came upstairs, someone had served him a pitcher of water. Just yeah. a pitcher of water, and he was like this. And I said, ah, why have you served him? So he had uh, no shoes. He had a paper suit thing on. Paper suit? Like he'd been in a cell or something. Like he, like a gown thing, but it was paper. Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. No shoes on. He wouldn't get in that club, would he? Well, he might like it. Actually. We had a <laughs> scarf on. <laughs> um, and, and I said... Uh, I served him, and then I went over and I said, "Give us that jug, mate." And he said, oh, "If I spill a drop, the world will end." Clearly, it's got problems. And uh, I said, "Oh, you can't have it." Yeah. So I took it off him, uh -huh. <laughs> and then I poured it away. Uh -huh. Probably shouldn't have. <coughs> sure. And then he went insane. And then he ran outside, and I said, and he, he saw him trying to pick the bin up because there's bins outside. I don't know if you remember. They're all like the sealed in boxes now. Bin, but ring, yeah. He, what pub was this at? We don't know. Well, I'm not going to say that, am I? The first one. We'll work oh, was it before my time? I think this was before your time. Yeah, yeah, because I, I I worked with a girl. Uh -huh. The girl that was on, I think, left before you started. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. And I saw him doing this and I said, everybody get away from the windows because it's all windows, remember? Yeah, yeah. And people wouldn't move. And I was like, get away from the window. And he just smashed the bin through the through the <gasps> one of the windows. All these women got covered in glass. We're told oh. to move. And then he got another bin. He smashed another window. I was just going nuts. Yeah? That was your fault. Do you think that was my fault? Am I the air hole? Am I the... Should I have dealt with that differently? Oh, God, I don't know what, um... I just didn't want him in the bar. <coughs> and I was about 19. Oh, yes, yeah, so I would have been way before your time. Oh, God, I don't remember that one. Probably, I probably heard the story and I forgot it. Oh. But, but there's loads of, loads of stuff. I found, found someone at the bottom of the cellar because he'd, he'd uh, been drunk and someone had left the door open and he fell into the cellar. I remember mm. a guy robbed uh, the, one of the pubs we worked at. Can you remember that? Yeah, I think you might have left at that point. Ah. Yeah, there was uh, CCTV of him just walking around, stealing everything. Wow. Um, I remember, remember when we used to have a drink at the end of the bar? Some guy just walked past. And did stole... A, did a twirl. Did a glasses bag. Yeah. He just he did like None of us spin. noticed. None of us no, no she, one noticed. Oh, my bag's gone. Where is it? Someone yeah. stole it. No, no, they haven't. We've all been sat here. Yeah. And then we watched CCTV the just got... So quick. I felt... Oh, it was horrible, that. But not the usual. I had once I came Fights. into work, I was very hungover and in a bad mood and I came in and this guy was in the middle of the bar. Remember, there was like a pillar thing. Yeah, yeah. And he just went <coughs> on the floor. And then like, the bits of sick spitting on the floor. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, just clean it up. 
clean it up, and then I got a mop, and I cleaned it up. And I put it in his face. And I was like, I was like, you're not, I was like, you're not getting another drink. Like, you can go now, mate. And he said, listen, just do your job, eh? <laughs> I said, what, my, is my job cleaning your sick up? And he was like, yes. And I said, oh, two seconds. And then I went upstairs. And I think I've told the story before, actually. Then I went upstairs and got this big, big guy. <laughs> yeah. And he came down, threw him out. <laughs> oh, people are horrible. Oh, I remember the guy who had a heart attack. We've talked about that one. We've we'll talked about that one as well. Where Somebody people stepped... stepped over him. I can remember what they ordered as well. It's the grain, a cocktail, anyway. did Two you say? alligator coolers. Alligator coolers. Just, just stuck there forever. He was nice, that guy. He always chatted. Him and his wife, he was he was lovely. I think he used to be a boxer. We were talking about boxing. Yeah. Yeah, he was nice. Huh? So if you haven't seen the other bit, of had a heart attack in the middle of the bar. When we're trying to help this guy, someone stepped over his body and asked for two drinks. What? So this is from Flower Bluff. <laughs> What's both your favourite series YouTuber that you have covered together? And do you guys have your eyes on any other YouTube rabbit holes you've been thinking about covering? Nice question. Well, um, I've been watching Chris Channel all day. Yeah. Uh, a favourite series we've done together or just a favourite YouTube series? Oh. Must be what we've done. What together. We've done. Well, you know. Uh, Misfits. Yeah. Did that together. Yeah. Of them. Probably that one. All the funny bits in the Misfits with me. The gay, the gay anime cartoons, and oh, every yeah. time Jason fell asleep. Yeah. It was hilarious. And then on the podcast, we're yeah. like, uh, is Mister Snufflick saying we're gay? No, they didn't. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we're going to say Jason probably is. Well, that was because he said something. Anyway. Yeah. Well, it was all Star Wars related. It was Star Wars. Uh, got to stop doing jokes and videos. No one ever, ever gets them. Uh, and, a, and a series, something we've got our eyes on next. <clears throat> there are lots of people, isn't it? Do you want to say? Is it a top secret? No, because I'm. I'm, I'm that H like... bomber guy. Oh, he's wonderful. That, the best YouTube video I've ever seen. James Summerton. You wanted to do something on him. That's fascinating. I think you should. I think it's fascinating because I've never heard of James Summerton. I've never heard of H Bomber. I heard of him. I'd heard of H Bomber guy. I had you. Yeah, he, oh, yeah. He's, he's really big, isn't he? He's got yeah, millions yeah. of subs. I've been watching him for years. Yeah. But someone said you have to watch it. Might be new. And it's the it's wonderful. It's what I wish I could. He's he's, oh, he's so good. See the what way, you look up to because he because he has receipts. He, he has receipts. I've watched it about four times now. But I've never heard of that James Summerton. Well, the documentary. Yeah, what's about four uh, times? But it's fascinating. The whole James Summerton thing is fascinating because he did two apology videos. Have you seen them? I've I know of them. I don't think I've actually I've watched, watched them. I've watched both of them. What's he saying? So, sorry. Just it's about plagiarism, isn't it? Yeah, he still doesn't. He doesn't take accountability. But you, he, I think he's missing at the minute. People think he might have. Yeah, he Which, really released a statement, didn't he? Saying, yeah, so, um, I can't remember what it said. But he would be good. Do you want to do Chris Chan? Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore now. No, nah, it's just too much, Chris. It's already been done. I couldn't so say anything new, could I? No. Nah. So I don't Even think Even nothing? Everybody knows everything, so... I mean, if something happens, you can report on it. Yeah. You'll, um, you'll do something insane soon. Yeah, uh, it's going to be lots of crime stuff, hopefully, and... Still the odd law cow that, that fascinates mm. me. I'll just pause it there. Oh. Please, could you please add... Wait, so, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can read some. All right. Um, where are we starting from? Uh, Top or bottom? Because look. I don't know how it works. Uh, so that's the first one, the rel rabbit, and then scroll down. So we're starting from red... Yeah, that's where we're... Red we velvet rabbit. Could you please ask and answer the question of if you had to be a background slash side character in one of the lives you've done videos on, which would have been why? That's a really interesting question. If you had to be a background side character in one of the lives you've done videos on, a background or a side character? Mm. That's a really interesting question, that. Who would you be? I'm trying to say Amber because I've done the most videos on her. You would be Amber? No, a side character in the Amberverse. Oh, right. <clears throat> But there's a lot of boredom. 
Oh, I suppose I suppose I'd do that, and then I could expose the lies better than I do now. Well, who would you want to be? Oh, I thought I could just be me as a oh, side character. I thought it meant because I was going to say Twinkie Star. I thought if you had to be a character, or you were a character, I'd be a background side character. And one of the lies you've done. Uh, you've confused me now. Me in the Amberverse. I'd like to be Twinkie Star. Good question. The dog, not the bumhole. Simply Cheryl. Still waiting for ALR episode 2 with Crystal. Can't wait. It's not a question. Yes. Uh, yes, it's nearly done. I'm in it. I'm sorry, I've, I've got Shut other up. things to do. I've got, Shut I'm up. sorry. Be too busy on his speedboat. Throwing millions. <laughs> um, Generico's Playgirl. Jean Rico's Playgirl. What is your favourite comfort food? Pretzels. Uh, Pretzels, mine's a tuna, cheese, toasty, and brown bread, and a tomato soup. Oh, nice. It's really nice. comfort food. I like um, a nice lolly, white chocolate ice lolly. Magnum. Oh, God, I, like I, Magnum. Magnum years. So I like to sit in my rocking chair. This is how. I'd love a rocking chair. I've got one. Ah. It's in the videos. I sit in my holy rocking chair, and I watch Only Murderers in the Building. Only Murders in the Building oh, with Steve yeah, Martin. Yeah. And I have... You get them around. What? Who is it? You said you watch it with them. I did the I watch job earlier in the Martin. podcast. Yeah. And then I have my ice cream. Sometimes I dip it in my coffee. Nice. Uh, Dank Fupa. Dank Fupa. Oh, Dank Fupa. Likes you. Please yeah, ask yeah. Please ask Jimmy if he was held at knife point and asked to make out with either Chantal or Anne Boleyn or he'd die, who would he choose? Thanks. Someone says, lol... Awesome question. Die always choose death over those two. Oh, yes. Oh, Dank Chantel. Dank food. I love your work. I think she'd be a good kisser. Not Amber. She's gay. Well, in this world, you did kiss you. That's Chantel. You answered that really quick. A bit of a thing for Sean Holder. Well, I could tell them that I'm You know, I love like Pete's. Uh, Brittany, what does he think Amber smells like? Me. Well, but yeah, anybody. Um, I don't know. Talcum powder? Mix of poo? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Does she bathe? Um, I don't know. Be all. I don't know. Be all. Be all. I don't know. Perfume? Probably a lot of perfume too. A lot of perfume. Hairspray and chicken sausage. Oh, somebody says. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had said that. Hold on. Sorry, I sorry. You me, read that? No, no, Stephen. Yeah. Cut that. I'll cut. I'll cut it out. Uh, Hairspray you... and chicken sausage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pete said, "Foodie beauty smelled Pete? like smell." No, oh, sorry. Somebody is saying Pete oh. said. Sorry, uh, foodie beauty. I thought I always think it means Facebook. Foodie beauty smelled like cheese. I'm going with that. Oh. Uh, Julia, Julia. Hey guys, what time? Oh, for this. Oh, uh, now. now. <laughs> uh, RSH says it must take forever to write the episodes for the programs you do. How much time? How much time to you do you put into them? And how do you keep saying when doing the same person again later, and they haven't changed at all, and just keep cycling round and round? It must take so much time. It takes all the time. All of his time. All the free time. And it never seems enough. I'm always behind. I, I can never catch up. Tiny violin. You were cleaning poop out of a toilet the other day when I was gone. I just can't catch up. It wasn't poop. It was... Uh... How do you... How do you keep saying? How do you keep saying? How do you keep saying? Like, stop from going mad. How do you keep saying we're doing the same person again and they haven't changed? I don't do it. I let him do it. How do you keep it. saying? Uh, they're just... The exercise? Yeah. Punch bag? Punch bag? How do you keep saying? It only affects me when I'm doing stories about like Crystal. When you go, oh, that's really sad. I don't know. I... Or you're dealing with somebody who's... I meditate uh, and me... The leprechaun that lives on my shoulder, he uh, he likes to do jigsaws. I'm, I'm enjoying jigsaws. Uh, HJ7947. Have either of y'all ever knit or crocheted? I saw a crochet thing today I want to get. Uh, no, have you? I uh, knitted at school. I 
couldn't do it now. Was there a knitting class? There was a knitting class, yeah. Was there? It's the 80s, yeah. Wow. You have wonderfully made cardigans, and I was wondering if y'all, someone in... Oh, someone's made someone's them. them. No, uh, no, just slave workers for Primark in China. I never go to... Oh, no. You I never go to Primark. Well, I used to. Where did you get that cardigan from? Amazon. <laughs> they're, they're, oh, they're, that's fine. They're fine. They're fine. Uh, what's the other one? Torrid. No, I've never used that. One. Uh, Queen Mary novel writer, why did you lie and say Jimmy 1 and Jimmy 2 were two different people? Mm. I get that joke because they mean Amber with White B. Oh, I was trying to think when did I lie? I totally you understood that. Oh, thank you. Oh. oh, yeah, did you see when she had well, well, Yeah, this, this, Jimmy's the same person. So, did you think Did you think there was two white bees? Wife? No, no. You knew no well, one. everybody did. Even our fans did. Oh, so it's funny that you said I'll admit it. Yeah. But everyone knew anyway. I've changed, guys. But anyway. I know it's been done before, but I'd love to see you cover... See your coverage of Chris Chan. I'll just say that. Oh, I maybe swear. you could do a little video at some point. I swear one of the first internet lol cards. Uh, Mine soul. When's the next victims of an empath video coming? You said in Feb, but it's March. Just, I just it's done. It's done, it's done tonight. It's done tonight. It's done tonight. That's yeah. It's, it's going to take ten days for copyright, so, so it might do. It will. Yeah. What YouTube are you most looking forward to covering? Uh, non crime stuff. Yeah. Uh, for real, Lauren, I have a question. Why are you two so handsome? Where does Mr. S get his cardigans? Amazon. I'm not that handsome anymore. I'm fat and... Okay, serious question. In, in, that's what it says. I'm somewhat new to your channel. Oh, hello. Uh, Lauren. Channels and Girl World. So you may have talked about this before, but I've not seen it yet. But when and why did you two get into Girl World reaction videos? Well, we didn't used to do reaction videos now and again, didn't we? Yeah, I loved them. Uh, you just showed me... I asked who I should do next and you said here's some people here's some lol cows and I picked Amber did we just watch people were reacting to her then you thought that would be funny and you said come and watch some Amber I can't remember I don't remember uh, did it all start with Gracie's Killer <laughs> it did start with Gracie's Killer yeah or with another of the girls yeah it started with no because with... we tried other people and it was rubbish Amber's really good to react to she was she she's was still in the dead air yeah uh, much love to you both from Lauren in Florida. Hey, Lauren, thank you. From Florida. I'd love to go to Florida. I hear it's nice. Um, thank you. Uh, and Dean at Castle, how exactly did you tweak Chantal's theme song, Lie, Lie? I think I just put the pitch down because mm. it a, it's a lady singing it. But I, just, I think, I, I I think we're kicking off about the song as well. Why? Because the lyrics. Something like, I blame me dad. It's my fault. Oh, dad. right. Well, yeah, the kids do. That's... I'm not explaining. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lloyd Watson, Jimmy, as a barman, can you put a shamrock in Guinness form? Oh no, this is my question. What? You know what? No. I, I, I'm not very good. I can, but it looks more like a mutated penis. It's not very good. Did you do that? Did you used to do a shamrock? I don't think I did. I don't think so. I'm not very good at it. I don't I mean, think so. It's terrible, isn't it? Not good. Um, Sorry, Lloyd. Uh, what's the largest size they do cardigans in Primark? Extra, extra large? I can't remember. Double X. I have got, got child, oh, yeah. child clothes. Oh, so that's from Jan's views. Um, Can I tell you about the time when I bought some boots? I said, uh, oh, do you do these in a size five? And he said, oh, well, my girlfriend said that because I don't talk to shop people. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I stand behind her like this, holding the bags. Uh, she said, oh, uh, these uh, hiking boots, do you do them in a five? And he said, uh, the ladies are over there. Uh, oh. Don't do men to that size. Oh. And I was like, but she was like, well, for him, he's got tiny feet. And he said, uh, the, the kids... And the guy was so flustered and embarrassed that he thought he'd embarrassed me. I forgot to ring him up. So I got him for free. <laughs> oh, and did you not correct him? No. Oh, well. No. Am I going to go to prison? Probably. 
So you've just admitted theft on YouTube after we cover people who are you? awful. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Bunger admits theft. Theft. Memeless. <laughs> Put us in it. Want to... I'll have to do a video on you next. I'll pause it then, we'll finish them. Jess J, when will you admit once and for all that Jimmy is the real Gracie cat and you're the one who stole Gracie? When are you going to admit it? Oh, me? That's what you said. When are you going to admit oh, it? Oh, uh, no. No. Uh, ooh, user, I... Is it true that you were the one that left the door for Kit to escape while chasing a spider? Kit? Cat? Maybe. Cat. <laughs> uh, Snowflake Gazette? Oh. Oh. Just talking about what? them. Yeah, they hate yeah. you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Put it on the list. Uh, how did he work through forgiving you after you threw him in the dryer? What's the dryer thing? Why is the dryer funny? What was that Chantel about? Chantel threw her sister in a dryer. Oh, yeah, that was it. Well, she, well, go, well, she well, didn't. Let's go back well, for a sec. Let's go back for a sec. I don't have proof. No, but no. listen. What? So, in... Thanks, Snowflake Gazette. You're amazing. Keep up the good work. Oh, they've called themselves so Snuff. Oh, and I never forgive them. Um, so, listen. Oh. In the video, yeah. you said the only thing you couldn't find proof of is her putting her sister, sister in, in the, the dryer. dryer. Yeah. And then when Foodie did the response, she said, and he's getting all his information from trolls on 4chan, putting my sister in the front dryer. Oh, never right, did okay. that. Why is he listening to trolls for? And I was thinking, that's the one thing he said Definitely that didn't, have didn't happen. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. Oh well. Be... But I mean, because she didn't watch the video. Emotion is the enemy of logic. Mm, she's too Spock. She's... <laughs> is that Spock? I don't know. We are kind of like uh, Spock and Kirk, aren't we? Oren, steel from Primer. I'd get off with green women. <laughs> I couldn't be a captain of a ship. I could. I would. I couldn't work for Starfleet. I've... Unless I'm, I'm in the bar with doing the glasses for Guinan. <laughs> like this. Guinan, will you serve, man? Stop talking. <laughs> well, I've got a queue here. It's five deep and she's talking about a card about bloody... <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she just gets too angry to... Guinan with a hat. No, no. Um, What's her name? Marion, to think logically. Oh, she was raging, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Good, Good question. <laughs> Was. Wildflowers, everyone in my family plays an instrument. I play the guitar and sing horribly. Do either of you play an instrument? Nope. I bought a guitar when I was 16, and now at the age of 43, I can't play guitar. Also, have either of you had a dangling ankle? You're not broken ankle? No, I've broken anything. No. You're not broken anything? Just some hearts. <laughs> I don't think so. I've got a bad back. I don't think oh, I've got a nail. I've got a dangle and nail. Oh, God. Look at it. Black man. Is broccoli your favourite veggie? Uh, no, mine is peas. I don't know. Wow, well, that is so boring. <laughs> well, what's your favourite vegetable? Uh, broccoli. You win. Antonio Camanagraba. Uh, will there be more Misfit videos? Aye. At some point. It's, that's still on the list. It's, it's a Rob video. Rob Zilla video. Hmm. I think we should do Rob Zilla and Lenny. Too sad? Very sad. Hmm. It's on the list. Um, what is... Uh, I'm going to stop reading the names. Because uh, I can't, read, you them. can't read them. Yeah. What are some of your guys' pet peeves? Fam war, famine. I thought you were going to say family. Family. Actually, mine would be family. Pet, pet peeves. Pet peeves. Uh, people on bikes, on paths, drive me crazy. That's a good one. Spitting. People who spit. I think if you spit in the street, I could punch you in the head. Mm. Pet peeves. I hate people spitting. Drive me crazy. I don't know. How many uh, pet peeves? I don't know. Don't Everything know. annoys you. Humans. Cues. Humans. Humans. Just humans being humans. Be pet peeves, humans. Human beings. <laughs> uh, people... <laughs> Telling you they can do a job and then not doing said job. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh-oh. Uh, some goody called uh, Kankle Shanks. You're in the Thunderdome with Tina Turner as your adversary. What do you do? <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. 
Well, me and you, <laughs> I would get on, I would get on your shoulders, and then we would become a double killing machine, master blaster. I think that would be simply the best. Yeah. That's the best I've got. Yeah. I did. I couldn't think of another song. What else did you say? Ah! What else did you say? Ah! I don't know. It's quite muscular, Tina. Turn on. Good shape. What else did you say? Get. Uh, I don't know. You can't really be. Did you sing that? Better. It's Chrissy. Chrissy Bang. Um. Sure theme. Song. Yeah. Well, it's just it's his intro music. Can we ever expect more from the loonies? Oh, I like the loonies. I know, I like the loonies. I like the loonies. I've never laughed so hard. Oh, oh this awesome. summer, this summer. We'll go to a field and do some loonies. We had another one, uh, another episode of Ritten. Didn't we have a full script? Yeah. It's just time and life. Time, time. Like I say, how long has crime been on the list for? Yeah. Three, four years? Yeah. But we'll do a loonies in the summer. It'll take a day. Love you both. But if I have to pick a fave, oh, I wonder who she's going to say. Oh, yeah, it's Jimmy. Yes. How did I know? Yes. Sorry, Snowflake. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's sweet of her. I'm glad that the loonies made somebody laugh. Yeah, I like the loonies. Yeah, did, did silly. Why does Jimmy dislike your cardigan so much? The best t shirt I've seen, he had a pick of JC with a brown cardi on. Who's JC? Jesus, Jesus Christ? Christ. Oh, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The slogan said, Jesus wears a brown cardi. Good enough for Jesus, good enough for Snowflake. I don't hate his cardigans. I'm jealous of his cardigans. What was your song? Mediocre cardigans. Oh, um. Oh, uh. Don't cardigans, have the cardigans, cardigans. I'm not, not a fan of the stripy one. Not too one. keen on the stripy one. one. I was singing that all day. Cardigans. I was singing that all day. I need to do a full album. What's the, I was getting told to shut up. What's the difference between a pickpocket and a peeping tom? Well, one looks through your window, and the other one nicks your wallet. What if they do both? A pick, a pick tom. Yeah. Um. Is, is that off something? Probably. Oh. We're too stupid. To probably off it. Minecraft or TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did it really pee you off when Chantal said you put your kids in the dryer? Who, you or me? <laughs> oh, because it she's... peed me off to no end. I don't remember that. I think, yeah. Who? Oh, she said you put your kids in the dryer and I told her. She said Jimmy oh, told what was me. The... Oh, um... Jimmy told me. I never told her. Yeah, you did. I didn't. She probably got a fax off. What's it? 4chan. <laughs> Is that right? 4chan? That's a thing. Me and me and Foodie. What was it? Um. Uh, yeah, I was really annoyed. He doesn't have kids. Um. In all seriousness, boo. In all seriousness, why do you think she feels so attractive? I assume Foodie. Delusions of grandeur, or is it a coping mechanism? Uh. Why did the well, if it's about Amber or Foodie, it's what you said to me when we were having a nice chat one day by a river. And I was like, how can these lol cows think that they're really attractive and really funny? And you're like, because if they see themselves as we see them, they would melt. They would, they would their bra brains would break. They, yeah, they couldn't cope. Oh my God, I'm an overweight loser. Yeah. I'm a mess. I'm 40 years old. I'm 30 odd years old. I'm a joke. You'd, you'd have a little um, meltdown. So it's self-preservation. -pres well, yeah, you'd have existential dread. That's the one. So they have well, that's to That's what think. they do. It is a coping mechanism, though, right? Yeah. So it is. Really good I'm sure that. I do it. I think I'm an international superstar, but I'm actually just a cleaner in a pub. I didn't want to say that. How do you feel about the criticism uh -oh, from other creators on Chantal documentary? I don't know. Has there been any? I thought everybody loved it. I don't know. I, just, this, I don't know. I assume never. I don't know. Uh, there's been so many documentaries done already, and you brought nothing new. All right. Um, how do you feel about criticism? I haven't seen it, but that's fair criticism. If you're a foodie expert, you probably know it. Brought all. nothing new. He had this. He had a back new backdrop. I know. I really like that one. You did this. <laughs> what was that? That's when you looked at the camera. You do. You go. <laughs> do I do that? Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> and you go. That's called foreshadowing. I like that one. The poop. I thought that was well, really. Uh, I guess like what? It was all new to me because I didn't know. I yeah, a lot of people. It. it won't be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Foodie experts will will know it all. Um, that's why I don't want to do the Chris Chan or do any more more cases because people know all this stuff. Yeah. Who would I cover next? Who people don't know about? Well, exactly. So the the crimes appealing more. 
Yet on the oh, smog, there's smog kicking off. <laughs> uh, yet on the dock part one, you commented, you nailed it. Oh, it's a response to the question. Uh, people arguing in the comments. Yet on the dock part one, you commented, you nailed it. I did nail it. Uh, it was all right. And he did bring something new. He brought his, I thought they were going to say cardigan or something. He brought his docu style and a couple of things from her childhood slash teenagehood that hasn't been brought up before. Uh, yeah. And so far, it, it's, if people don't like it, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll try and make it good. But if people don't like it, I can't do anything. Uh, start researching quirky lover rose, love rose. She won't hesitate to block mean people, but she makes a makes for good content. I think I'm just going to focus more on crime, and uh, that can be one of the blog posts. Put it there. on the list. Yeah, um, the giant list. Oh, massive. I just need the top one done, second one done, and then I can. I, th I think that's, that's it. it. That's it. Uh, yeah. That's it. Thank you for the questions, everybody. Thank very you very good. much. Thank you. Very informative. Do you like Morph? I do like Morph. I, I, did you used to watch Tony Hart when you were a kid? Who's that? He used to, that's who he used to have Morph on. Heart Attack. Heart Attack. The old guy, or? Oh, that's Neil Buchanan, the other one. Yeah, the old guy. Oh, no. I... And then he'd do the gallery, remember? You could do that with memes. Just print them out and put them on here. And we mm. could go around like... Kankle Shanks, age three. Kankle's memes. So, yes, all done. That's it. I can't remember what we've discussed. <laughs> My holiday. Well, your holiday. Victims. Foodie, foodie beauty. Crime. crime. Reddit. Fan questions? Reddit fan questions. There you go. Should end it with a fact. Okay. What do you want to know a fact about? Um, every snowflake is an individual. That's a fact. I'm not. I'm a big cookie cutter. You are like cardigan wearing. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> Snowflakes are not all white. They are actually translucent. Oh. Where light is reflected rather than pass through. Five facts about snowflakes. There must be pollen or dust in the air to form a snow. No, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Your stomach again. No, it was me going. All oh, right. <laughs> so I regretted looking up snowflake facts. Uh, how do we end it? I don't know. Oh, I know how to end it. You ready? Go on. This is how we're going to end every single. Thanks to you, I sleep better, better at night. night. Thanks, Thanks for to you. you. Your cardigans are tight. Thanks for you. Cardigans. <laughs> I love you, cardigans. Cardigans. I'm not too keen on the stripey work, but the rest okay. <laughs> Mediocre cardigans. Thanks to you, I sleep better at night. Thanks, Thanks for, for you. you. Your cardigans are tight. It's being tough when I start getting into it. <laughs> I love your cardigans, cardigans. <laughs> I'm not too keen on the stripy work, but the rest are okay. Mediocre cardigans. Do you want to tell them why you sang that? It was an homage to. It was an homage to Foodie Beauty, to the most handsome man. Handsomest man? Yeah. I think that's better. And I only, what, I only listened to the first bit of it. Of Handsomest Man? I don't think I've yeah. listened to it all. Do you want to listen to it? Handsomest man. Yeah. You should copy strike me. <laughs> see which sounds see see which is better. So that was Cardigan by <laughs> JB Bunker. You know the Hertz team, Joe Racer, right? I don't have uh, I don't have uh, premium. I had to get it because I was sick of watching Amber's adverts. Yeah, not to get on, on the strike strike you want, want, but the rest are okay. We should do a duet. You could do the next chorus about me. Handsomest man, handsomest man. Oh my gosh, he's the handsomest man. I said, don't. He is quite handsome, someone, though. I was a dish one guy. That's because you're the loveliest man. God, it is. <laughs>
thanks to you. I sleep well at night all because of you. Close my eyes and dream of you, baby, every night until the sky turns blue. Handsome is man. Handsome is man. Huh? Morning. What? At night when the sky turns blue. <laughs> Morning. Should we just do a video oh reacting gosh, to us again? Handsome is man. man. I said no one can love me quite, quite like, like he can. can. That's because... You're oh. the loveliest man. I'm so satisfied because of you. I can't believe she never put in the rhyme spam. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the, right there, like, you're the handsomest man. I love to eat fried spam. That would have worked perfectly. My whole chest that I love you. I turn red like a ripe berry when I look at you, oh darling. Just look at you, bright red. <laughs> Foodie, are you okay? <laughs> Don't You've show gone red. red like a cherry. <laughs> show bright red. red. Are you all right? Do I need to ring an ambulance? <laughs> show are you okay? Don't show red. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone red, love. Are you all right? I love the song. It's quite catchy, actually. I'm so, so in love with you. I'm so, so in love. Handsomest man. Handsomest, handsomest man. man. Oh, oh my God. gosh, he's the handsomest I mean, I, man. I like he's, I like, I think he is, I think he is handsome. I agree. I'm not, I'm not trying to do a bit. I think he's really good looking, yeah. I like the so. eyebrow. He, he's a good looking guy. Does he only got one eyebrow? You can't, no, but he lifts the eyebrow. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> he's got one eyebrow. Get in. Thank you, thank you very much. Get in. No, hey, well, last. Joke aside, I like the song. I like your voice. I don't think she's got a bad voice. I think she's got a nice voice. Um, and I just make little jokes, you know, like. Has she got any more solo? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Pause it there, but keep it on. Oh my! Like, how would I know which is a song? Foodie Beauty song. It would say Foodie Beauty song. I don't know. I've never. I don't know. I was up four stomachs, is that true? Handsomest man. Handsomest man. Oh I my god. That's only got 12,000 views. What? Handsomest man? Yeah. She's not a big name. She sings pathetic. This is a, a cover. <laughs> Why is it? It starts with. <laughs> what does it like, start with? What do you call him? Not Nada. Nada? Smashes his head off the table. <laughs> What? <laughs> can you um? Can you? You'll have to film this, or what? Yeah, I'll have to send it to you. <laughs> this is great. Eh? <laughs> Why didn't we react to food years ago? <laughs> Who's I'll have, we'll have to give these a shout out. Who is it? So easy to change me. Who's made this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously, you're getting a sub. Obviously. Who is it? Obviously. Who is it? Like, obviously. <laughs> like, who's, obviously. Who's up next? <laughs> I, I need to just watch him smashing his head again. <laughs> watch. <laughs> right, I'll send you that. Obviously, well done. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh 
It's not the sun, mate. Tiger. I'm going to spit that all over. Oh. What? Al Sultan. What is that? This is, uh... Oh, this is this is her song. Al Sultan. Uh, we should have just done this for a video. Song by We'll have to do her full... Uh, catalogue. Yeah, catalogue. Album. So is it... Well, let's pick it up, but... Oh, I'll play it, it's fine. I suppose I can send you the video. Yeah, yeah. Now, baby, take a bow. I'm so What's this called? Al Sultan. If we watch the video, what we get after this? Yes. Must have been a godsend, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still. You get me, you complete me. I'm so glad I found you. Your love sets me free. Thank God for you, baby. Every time I look at you, I can't believe my eyes. Nice. Every word whispered in my ear is a delicate surprise. I will you think she just makes it up? On the spot. Don't know. Like I did with me. Spam. Cardigan. Not bad. And when I'm old, my heart will still love you like day one until I die. In heaven together, our love is forever. Emperor of my soul. Well done. I was five and he was six. Oh, this better not copyright me. Oh, yeah. Made of sticks. I was five and he was six. She's a good singer. She's not bad, is she? No, no. Should have just reacted to Susan singing. Well, of the time. Well, I need to find a. Well, here we go. Oh, man. I need to find Obviously. A, obviously. Well, well done. done. Really hurt that. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll watch this one, then we'll end it. Yeah, we'll we'll do, I think we should do a full episode on Foodie's music. Mm. <laughs> we need. I want to. I, I, we need to find the actual. Video. I think he does live streams. So he must, so one of his one of his lives. He must. Well done. Go and subscribe. Obviously. Oh God! Well done. Fantastic. Is that it? That is it. Thanks, well everybody. Um, hope you enjoy. That'll be main food after this is done. We'll just go, right? Series is done. Mm. Um, let's go to Berlin. Let's hang out. Back. Yeah, let's be mates again. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Night, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for your questions. Bye, everybody.